Hello and welcome to Cigar Time. Hello. Hello, Hello everybody. Hello. Welcome hey. to Cigar Time. This is our annual uh, New Year's show in between Christmas and New Year's, where we sort of just sit around and talk about cigars. We're not selling anything, we're not promoting anything. Well, not that we promote, we just bring the cigar That's stars double C. Double C cigars. <laughs> Anybody have a drink? Yeah. yeah, I wish. And at the conclusion of our show, you're going to see a few minutes of some rather hilarious outtakes and bloopers. Uh, of course, I will not ever watch those. Ah, uh, there's one that was hilarious that just happened. I'm sure there's probably. <laughs> oh, look at this. I got a double leaf. Double leaf. Online. Oh, That's well, double C, wrong. not double leaf. Wrong. So we're just smoking? we're just going to get roll back. Oh, and, I'm smoking uh, a Leaf Lancero. I think all of us are smoking uh, a cigar that we enjoy. I, hope uh, sure. I don't know. I never smoked this. So. Well, mine was free, so. Well, I'm smoking, I'm I'm smoking a Particate 150 yeah. that was made in 1996. <gasps> that drag? Drag. <laughs> drag? He did say that, right? He did. It can't and, possibly uh, be a drag. It's a very enjoyable cigar, and I'm looking forward completely. to lighting it up. Right, yeah. so we're just going to talk cigars. Watch we're going to talk about our adventures of the year, <laughs> the nice people we've run into uh, from all walks of life that we've encountered out on the street in restaurants, and I said recently in a Home Depot, and et cetera, et cetera. So it, it's been really fun bringing this show to you. We've enjoyed it. Uh, for this show, we've included, you know, Uncle Max. Maxie. Otherwise known as John. Hello, everybody who's one of the stars of our Saturday night show that we appreciate your viewing. No, promoted. <coughs> we have a Saturday show? We have a Saturday that show. That he watches That's on 8 o'clock Saturday. Saturday night. I we weren't throwing anything. You do a show without me? Yeah. What's that about? It's not easy to do. I know. It's, well, the, but it's really The problem good. is the screen's not <laughs> wide enough to encompass your ego. <laughs> <laughs> mine. You're talking mine? Well, all right, I could be talking Scott's. No. So, at any, any rate, you know, that's, that Saturday night show, which is rather recent, we started, what, about three, four months ago? Mm -hmm. And we feature all kinds of our, our special value packs, our humidified packs, special closeouts that we've got from the manufacturers that we bring you extraordinary prices on. All the stuff on the Saturday show, show is extraordinary. And uh, we hope you're enjoying what we bring into your homes as much as we enjoy making it. And uh, it's been a fun couple of years. We started out on radio about three or four years ago, migrated to television, I guess about, a, a, what, two years and a couple about 114 months. episodes. 114, 114 episodes, episodes ago. And uh, we enjoy every week. We get together and we make these shows. And if you're enjoying them as half as much as we enjoy making them, we're all having a good time. So if somebody wants to pick it up from there while well, I like my 150, I'll be a very happy camper. I just want what, to watch. What are you guys smoking? I got the San Latano Habano. Um, a battle wrapper, I'm pretty sure it's sold, uh, Nicaraguan wow. filler. Yeah. Fantastic cigar. It's one of, one of my favorites. And I'm smoking... Dram a, number three. I'm smoking a Dram number three. You know, a couple of weeks ago we yeah, were smoking some yeah. of the lighter ones. This is the powerhouse of the wine. Is it? Yeah. You know, I like it, that. I, I'm dying to try that um, blend. I'm not in love with the size he gave us. No. Uh, Six by six. I'm not a six by sixty guy either. Yeah, but that was the closest cigar to you, so that's what you chose. Uh, no, it was the closest dram number three. <laughs> <laughs> we have the threes and the see we carry them. Yeah, we carry all the same. What are you smoking, John? I'm smoking a dram number one robusto. Uh, I felt that uh, this late in the uh, afternoon, I needed something mild. Yeah, it's a great mild cigar. Yeah. It is, and uh, it will go very well with one of my lighter libations later in the. Nice. In case you missed our Saturday show, which we hope you'll now tune in, John is our resident alcoholic. Light, well, <laughs> I, I, I was going to say it a little nicer, libation expert. No, alcoholic. Oh, he's an alcoholic. What are you supposed to say? Oh, a Regis that Art so graciously gave me. I believe this is the Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper. Well, sure. Okay. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah, we'll go, we'll with, go that. with that. It looks like it, though. If it's not written on the board, T, it doesn't know. Yes, I By the way, which is the largest cigar. selling, and here's this word again, the largest selling non-Cuban cigar in England. And, it's and a if Lance we were in England, that would mean something. <laughs> yes, that's true. <laughs> and it's a Lancero, which I think... I love Lanceros. I think Lanceros are coming back. 
Things they are based they on seem to be having a resurgence. When we did the post embargo, they're all events, different. Like, that was one of the best for They all vary, but yeah. they all yeah. vary in the size. These are both Lanceras, and hers is. Well, it's a European Lancero. <laughs> yeah, European. European so Lancero thought it would be smaller. <laughs> yeah, probably. And the I same like thing the with the leaf event, though. Aren't we? we yes. Actually, this Rob Smoke. People can, wanted the not, not to turn this into a sales show, but you can only get that leaf Lancero in our stores in Pennsylvania. Oh, wow. That's true. Yeah, you That's can't get it. Well, no, no, that's well, not true. Well, in, 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 in eastern yeah. Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh. Yeah. In, in eastern Pennsylvania. Correct. Yeah, he's only he was only allowing one store per wow. state to have that cigar, but since he's in Pennsylvania, he's allowed us that's to have really, it, too. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Can't get it anywhere else in Pennsylvania. Oh, dude. Except for Pittsburgh. <laughs> Go. We just cleaned that, Rob. What are you making a mess for? Wow. Wow, right on my good ear, too. I wanted you to hear it. I'm yeah. terrified, You paid John. for getting it cleaned. I know. Oh, look at look at Paul. Oh, well, I'm yeah. used to Paul. That's Scott. It's over by him. Now it's it John. looks like our table cloth. Yeah, th yeah, now it looks right. Play with the smoke. Well, <laughs> I, think, I, I, I think I speak for everybody. We, we, wish, we wish to also thank you very much for the patronage of our now 11 stores with the addition of our store recently in Downingtown. And uh, we can't say enough about the support you've given us. Uh, you you have made us what we are today, whatever the devil that is. Thank I mean, you it's very been 20 much. years, and like I say, we couldn't have done it without you, and we're very humbled by that. We're very appreciative of that. We're coming into our 20th year. Something like that, yeah. It depends on when you... It depends. Well, that's well, one of the first retail Rebel story, Valley but. Custom Humidors. That was in 91 or 92. Right, but but well, Rebel Valley Cigars was 96. 96. That is correct. So we're coming that into our 20th. 20th year. So, I mean, it's been a learning curve for us. We continue to learn. Oh, my God. Did you hear that? No. She was in junior high. Well, that's great. We well, at least she wasn't in grammar school. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. That's okay. I was an eighth grader. So John was 80. <laughs> so I did a little bit of research because I figured very being very little, being that it's the holidays, I wanted to see whether cigars had any significance in any religious holidays. And not too surprisingly, uh, tobacco looms large in, in, the uh, in well, no, in in the various Native American tribes. Oh, that makes sense. Also, yeah. Festivus. Festivus for the rest of us. Yes. Um, but it turns out the oldest known legend Starboard. about no, the other one is older wow. about the uh, origin of tobacco in the world comes from the Sioux Indians. And apparently what they believe is, or what they used to believe, is that there was this great powerful spirit, maybe the most powerful spirit. Great and powerful Oz. And he was out camping, or going on a vision quest. He was out hiking. The, the back they were all were camping. Well, they're that's all, true. They were all on vision quest. In a, in a tent. <laughs> they were no, no. TP. TP. Uh, he was out camping. <laughs> he was out or a camping. wiki. Or a wiki. Yeah. Yeah. He, was he was in a, a big wiki condo out. and it was still and camping. For anyway, them. anyway, he <laughs> dozed off next to his campfire. And his, uh, his sinister twin because, you know, all, all of these great, powerful wizards always have a, an evil twin. Uh, his evil twin snuck up on him while he was asleep and tried to roll him into the fire. And his hair and his beard caught on fire. Oh, this ought to be good. And he ran through the forest with his head in flames. And everywhere that a lock of his burning hair fell to the ground, a tobacco plant emerged. And that's how the gods gave tobacco to man. And that's a true story. I was there. You were there. And so was he. He was there before. And he, he was, was already he was already old. <laughs> they always pick them. Well, well, I mean, did he die? What, no, what were they smoking that they came up with this story? Tobacco. 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 It wasn't tobacco. Tobacco. Yeah. 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 tobacco. tobacco. Yeah. tobacco. Yeah. They were so smoking that other tobacco rust. So is that like hair of root? Yes. I, 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 his name might have been Newt. <laughs> so all tobacco comes from that. From yes. this guy's burned hair. Yes. I don't. I don't believe that. That's story. an awful tall yeah, story. Yeah. That's what the Sioux Indians believed, and it might explain why. Well, because maybe they didn't well, know that there were other 
they didn't know there were other places, so I think it you might be why they... you occasionally find a hair. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I think we need to refer to them chicken as leaf? the Sioux Nation Native Americans. No. Well, if I want to be yes. that politically, politically correct, they're the Lakota. If we're going to be that politically, I'm walking off the show. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Huh? That's ridiculous. What is, only Stop. Jack Park can get away with that. So you didn't like Why that story? So anti? I can tell you the Crow Indian story. The nah. Crow the crow. That's right, Starboy we'll and you have anything about the Earthboy. Do you have anything Bruce about Lee the Fukawis? The Fukawis? Okay. We're all the Fukawis. Yes. I thought you were the Fukawis. I, I thought you were Ashkenazi. We are taping a show. Oh yeah, we are taping a show. <laughs> oh yeah. John, do you have anything to add? I mean, you've been around. I'm thirsty. I need something to drink. You always need something. He to needs drink. to libate. It's a bottle of but, uh, uh, bullet No, it's there. been a very interesting cigar year and for me. What and was the best cigar you've had this year? Oh, wow. That's a good question. That is a very best good cigar, question. Best cigar, the best cigar to come out this year? Uh, or the best cigar that we got into the shop? I think, I think it's a toss-up between the New World San Latino Original Maduro and the Post Embargo. Post Embargo is a good cigar. Post Embargo is a really good cigar. Those are the two brand new things for me this year. And they were both big hits. Yes. What about you, Scott? I, I don't know. I can't remember yesterday. People ask me what's new, and I walk around like, I, 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 I can't remember. I know, it all blends together. You should write it on your chalkboard. But you don't, you don't have any trees on top of your forest. You should go ahead. You should buy I'm trying to look guy. Go to somebody else. Let me think of what the best one I had this go year. Go to Rob. What about Paul? What about you? Me? Was that the single Paul. stalk? No. No, I don't want to talk about the single That's stalk. That's still on the truck. No, it's on the shelf. But Did a spot come out this year? No. Did no. we get it in this year, though? No. no. It was last year? Yeah, it was last year. I know. I was thinking that, too. Which one? No, I, if, for spot, me, there I are two cigars that, no, that what, rise above the crowd. Also, and one of them is the post embargo, mm -hmm. uh, which I really like a lot. Mm -hmm. And the other uh, hasn't gotten a lot of play, and it's the Pilon from oh, yeah. CAO, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, which I think is a delicious I cigar. I thought you were going to go with the Grupo de Maestro. That came out the, two years the, the, last that's year. Last year, also. Yeah, that, that was, was last year. See, yeah. this is, yeah. see, this is why I said don't go That was me. 14. Yeah, it wasn't 15. Yeah, no, the Pilon is a very good cigar. And, wow. and, and and very nicely priced too. Very, very reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and, uh, and an Ecuadorian wrapper, I might add. Well, of course, that's your favorite. But I think uh, this is definitely a period of time in premium cigar history where the buyer, the cigar buyer, has a lot of, you know, excellent cigars to choose from at mm -hmm. reasonable prices. So it's a good time to be a cigar smoker yeah. for sure. Mine, mine would have. Been, uh, but this came out last year. Was the uh, the Amazon Basin? Yeah, that was just far and away one of the best cigars I've ever had. I, I thought, totally I, agree with yeah, that. Yeah, that was a fantastic cigar. Um, but this year, there's so I can't remember all of them. I know we've smoked that's so the that's we the, we've smoked, smoked so many, many cigars, more. and not just on the show. I mean, we've smoked. Literally thousands of cigars over the year. Well, just to remind everybody, oh, well, something we haven't said in a long, long yesterday. time. We smoke a lot of garbage, so you don't have to. We yeah. smoke them, so you don't have to. <laughs> a lot of a lot of garbage, man. Yeah, well, Some actually, cigars that I, I thought of one that you and I have smoked that we've ordered, but we haven't gotten in yet. We're, they're just they're, they were st such that? demand for them. They're on. They're still on back order from the show. Oh. It's the uh, Latelier Mission, uh, but yeah. the Mission, or yeah, something like that. That yeah. was that was fantastic. That's one of the best cigars I've had. You can't you can't get it anywhere. They've been on back order since wow. July. The, I would have to say since since I can't say the Amazon base, it would have to be the uh, Alec Bradley, <coughs> the Alec Bradley uh, post embargo. Yeah. What about Lenox? I've you never write, had it. Oh. I've never had that cigar. I've tried to get it, but it was it was gone by the time I, I got it's here. A, it's, a, it's different. It's very different. I've never had it's it. It's good, though. But again, cigar smoking oh. is so subjective, and our various tastes are so different from each other. It's amazing when we all sort of agree on one particular brand or, or model of cigar. Yeah. 
So, I mean, the Perlone well, would the be a good example. Post the post embargo would be a good example. Anything from a drone? <laughs> would be what's the new CAO that came out this year? The Pilon. Yeah, Pilon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there was another one, wasn't there? Storm or something? No, no, no. The no, Steel the Horse. Next, the Steel Horse. No, it's not the Steel Horse. They came out. That's part of the. Uh, uh, part of the yeah. Flathead yeah. Link. Yeah. Columbia. Columbia. Oh, you know what? No, I'm thinking of the Punch. The Punch. The new oh, punch. yeah, that's very good signature. The Punch signature. Very good cigar. That was a good one too. And that's also priced very nicely. I like the Leaf. I thought. I thought that one was just. Did we start was that this year? Or was that this year or last year? Oh, that was last year. Oh, oh, last year. Oh, oh, I was fourteen. Was Here's one I know came out this what past year: the the, uh, the La Polina Goldie. I don't know if anybody else has had it. But I have it. No, that's in your store. Oh my God, it's so good. Is they, that a Nestor cigar? Uh, ba, 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 ba. I don't. He, they have there's so many different. Oh. Manufacturers of La Polina. Yeah, okay. They, they've got like some some people make the Goldie, some make the Black, some make gotcha. the, gotcha. the uh, Mr. Sam. Mr. Sam was a good one too. Yeah. Yeah, I like Mr. Sam. No, Mr. Sam. Sam. No, no, Mr. Sam. That's his father, Sam that's Paley. Yeah, that's the. Uh, that's, that's William Paley's father. Yeah, Mr. Sam. Paley. There were a lot of good I ones. I like the Hoyo. I think a lot of people. Give that a chance. The 150. Yeah, that was, oh, it was a good cigar. It was a very good, good cigar. Yeah. I wish a lot of people would try that one. That's a good, that's a good you, cigar. What do you guys think about the, the have, has everybody had the new Padron the, with the Connecticut wrapper? That's what I was I trying have. to say. I, you know what, it's a, I thought it was an okay cigar. cigar. Oh, I love it. It's, I just love it. I mean, I it's not worth the money. Okay, just talk about the cigar itself. It was Forget an okay about the cigar. price for a second. I mean, it didn't for a Connecticut wrapper. It didn't have much it taste. Was it I thought it dramatic. Really? No, I, I thought it tasted a lot like compared. How would you compare it to like the Dram One? Oh, no, the Dram, Dram One is much better. Yeah. Way better. Way better. It's more oh, character. I don't know. For a third, le for a third less in price. It's more. It's more character. Half. It has more well, character. I never. I did have not smoked the Padron Connecticut. I I have well, it has more character. I think, I think it's. I think it's fantastic. Oh, I, I, I think it's really good. I was gifted. I was gifted one uh, for Christmas, and I have not yet smoked it, so I will reserve. You'll say. I was gifted a Padron Fifty. I 50th, was not gifted. But I had that I haven't smoked yet. I My still haven't tried one of those. Nah. I haven't tried the 50th. No, the 50th from the human arts. Right. The, the, I, I had the small 50. Yes. Yeah, I've had that. I haven't had either one. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Well, well usually Padron. 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 Right on it's a Padron. Yeah. Padron. Well, that's Padron. not true. I mean, the Connecticut's not that great. I just, it's a good cigar, but it's not. I great. really liked it. If it were $8, how would you feel about it? I, much better. Okay. So we take price into consideration around here. When we rate cigars, oftentimes I try to say that. I call it the price, you know, value quotient, quotient or whatever. Thank you. But, you know, price does matter. Size matters, price matters more. I, here's another question for this is more for Paul and Taya. Which, what was your favorite flavor of vape that came out this year? Oh, <laughs> God, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I tutti, tried one. Tutti Fruity, probably. I tried the Nana. The, we the, don't the, sell the the Nana. Nana. <laughs> Vaping is not. And it wasn't the it's flavor. Not for me either. It wasn't the flavor as much as the mouth feel and the and the the flavor was. I didn't was like. Fine, I don't like the way the. Didn't I don't like, like the it. smoke. I don't. It's, it's like, yes. I, it's it's not real. To me, it's not real smoke. It is a real smoke. Yeah. Vapor. It's, yeah Water it's vapor. Like, yeah. I don't like it. But it's a hot phenomenon. How long the government will allow it to continue is beyond everybody. <laughs> it is. It's really. It's and it's getting hotter. It's getting hotter. We sell a little yeah. in the stores. For those of you who want to take some home for your wife or loved ones, we do have a selection of them it's in, in a lot of the stores. Not all of them, but a lot of them. But it's not, obviously, this is our business and will always be our business. Yeah, that's that's just, why we call yeah. it Cigar Cigar. And for this those of you who like, for those of you for like hookahs, you, sorry. <laughs> not going to happen. This is the life we have chosen. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Although, Gleefully. looking at, at Colmar, <laughs> Your office would make a, a cute little hookah lounge. It'd be intimate, small and intimate. It would if I had hookah smokers. And you could entertain hipsters in there. Yeah, you could have like a belly dancer. You could do a Bill in. Cosby kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> what, knock people out? You lost me on that. You can get lost on a lot of things, Scott. What, what do you think the best pack was this year? The oh, best one we pack? Yeah, best that's pack easy. we had. The one that just came out. What, the Padron? The uh, uh, Prinsada? No, 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 he's. Uh, are you talking about, about our facts? Are pack. you talking the, about? Well, yeah, the the Padam Papine, the five really Papines. So? Oh my God, yeah. I, I that, gotta go. I, I gotta go with the out? Alec Bradley pack. Yeah. I haven't put it out here yet. Alec Bradley pack, me. I think, was a, is a great pack. And the what's and in the, it? The Thalatana was good too. See, no, absolutely. What's in it? 
I don't remember. Oh. Well, what I like about the set, the um, the Alec Bradley pack is that they're I'm changing it get that pack. and putting four new cigars she, she, in, in yeah. next year. I like Season. that. As yeah. opposed to like Perdomo, they have they have two packs. One's a Maduro, one's a natural, but they still keep pretty much the same cigars in it. Um, well, why don't they but Alec two Bradley's two changing packs? all four of them. Yeah. Why don't they I think just do two separate packs? Why don't they decide to not? Because. Ask Alan Rubin. Should have asked him while he was here. I know I should have. So we not only want to thank you for your viewership, for your patronage, we also want to thank our sponsors yeah. and, and their commitment to the Long Leaf, all the sponsors you've seen on our show and the wonderful cigars they've brought to you. We take, well, take my hats off. <laughs> and, and I'll take his hat off. There you go. Take your hat off. There you go. And uh, it's a very humbling experience. Again, when we when we meet you on the street or in a restaurant or something, you come over and say nice things about our show. That is awesome. I love that. It is awesome. Yeah. It is very awesome. I don't See, care what I'm doing. Where you beep your horn next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I like when people come over. But, and we, we do really, I think, aside from the fun that we have here, I think as a group we really do enjoy sharing our our knowledge and our experience because by nature we have more experience with cigars than the average person out there watching. Right. That's so awesome. as we, as we come to, to the, as we come to the close of our show, we want to wish you all a very happy, healthy, and joyous New Year. See you next year. Bye. Ciao for now, everybody. Happy, happy New, New Year. year. Uh, na, 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 Dude, I could have done that. I, this is what I want the show to be all the time. We need a sponsor That's the most he ever talks. Yeah. All the time. Okay. So that's why we we could have done it easily another half hour. Uh -huh. Easily. Uh -huh. So every once in a while, we're going to do a show like this. In the next couple of months, often. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> this is our annual. This is our annual Groundhog Day show where we just sit around and talk. Hey, my birthday's <laughs> Groundhog Day. <laughs> why yeah, I bet you don't. This is our anybody. annual Tia's birthday show. No. In honor of Jim, and because I'm too cheap to go out and buy new sunglasses, we're all wearing our, except for Scott, of course. This is on. This is on. Scott, why don't you stand up and show us the sunglasses and the back of your shirt? Really? Yes, really. <laughs> I need this. Great. Are everybody excited now? But, but did you notice? Oh, my <laughs> God. Stop. Oh, geez. Geez. Can't say it. On television. You just, said, eh. you just oh, broke both cameras and the and the soundboard. How right, come has never done that? No, no. Well, 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 we'll work on that next time. No, it's okay. Come on. Thank you. Bye. 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 And Smoke sweet. Stop. <laughs> Smoke sweet. Smoke <laughs> sweet. <laughs> <laughs> These had to be the two ditziest episodes we've ever done. Ditziest? Yeah. yeah. Ditzy. Possibly. But this cigar is very good. I, I do like I'm the surprised because my a lot of my Romeo and Ashton guys have switched on to that Cuellar. That cigar is god awful. Oh, he doesn't like it. He's progressed. I don't to like god it. Awful. But you I, like a I, cigar like a Real. Oh yeah, it's a cigar. It's a flat it's one the, note. Oh paste. my god, it's the second it's best selling like cigar in rolled up You are so wrong. And added like a little cream. That's cheese sour to grapes, it. man. That's what that is. <laughs> He's recording. That. Okay. Rolled up newspaper and cream cheese. I like it's that. It's sour cream grapes, cheese. man. That's yeah. what did you say cream cheese? I sure did. No, absolutely you not. You put schmear on your cigar. It's schmeared, all right. You can't. You, you can't argue like one with of the number one generic, selling cigar in the country because people know generic names. It's like it's like the McDonald's of a Connecticut oh cigar. Oh my God! No, that so would be Mac and Hoodoo. Yeah, I was just going well, to say. That all right, fine. Hoodoo. It's a Burger King, which Burger is a King's step down. No, Burger King's the best. Oh, Burger man. King's flame disgusting. broiled. It's awesome. It's flame like, broiled. It's like my freeze like, drying flame. No, it's marks like cooking on a. It's like cooking on a. No. If you're gonna compare a Burger King burger to cooking on the grill, your palate must be. No. Whoa! Not true. Not, not, not true at all. Absolutely Bleep. not. It's flame broiled. Bleep. Better than sitting on some grill. It's flame broiled. Yeah. With a blowtorch. No. Absolutely not. <laughs> let's it do like better. Let's do like deadliest catch. Every it's, other word is bleep. No. It's the Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's not so one burger that any fast food place has, fake flame broiled or not, that is good enough to compare to something that's actually on it's the grill. It's cooked over a flame. It's cooked over mass-produced charcoals with extra oh added ingredients so in wrong. there. 
No, I'm so kidding. wrong. You I need, like how we're not arguing about the screaming. cigars anymore, though. We're on a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> Hamburgers. No, absolutely not. It, it translates. Any, any hamburger bought at a fast food bread, it's not Thank no, you. not true. Flame broiled. It's again? flame broiled. Burger King. Burger King. Which one doesn't Burger King? The thing, the thing about Which one doesn't give you <laughs> diarrhea? Because you add that word into that doesn't, conversation. Doesn't. Burger King. Burger King's burgers give everybody diarrhea. Nobody. The, you must the have an reason iron they call yeah. them fast food burgers is you eat them fast, not because they make them fast. And they come out fast. And you don't know what they taste like because by the time you eat them, you just inhale them. All I know is that last cigar last week <laughs> Oh, man. Takes a sucker to know a sucker. <laughs> no, I'm just the one who has enough to say it. That's all. That's my number one seller. So? <laughs> oh my god. I want some. <laughs> Scott, Scott's playing with the swag. It's fun, I like it. We're gonna have chicken nougats for lunch? Chicken <laughs> What the f is chicken nougats? Better, better than chicken. <laughs> That's true. I never ate a nougat. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. You're the one who said it. But what is it? Ah. Uh. You never had a chicken nugget? It's a, it's a... <laughs> not a, I know what chicken nugget is. He said it tastes like a nougat. What is a nougat? No, it, it's not a nougat. Yeah. It's nougat. Well, and no, it, it's a and, component and, and of some candy. Like Milky Way? She gets in the street. And it's, it's, and it's, it's kind of like a whipped caramel. They like the color. Yeah, it's oh, a caramel taste. So I have had nougat then. Uh, but you never had a nougat. Okay. You gotta get you one. Can What's you that candy? Can you go to the nougat factory. Yeah. Nougats. <laughs> I think you have a pack of ten. So you didn't hear me when I pack said ten that for the dollar. hides are then really we good have a drink. from nougat. Please, save some of these for nougat uh, a drink and we'll bring more for the events. All right, I have an idea for a show. Okay. I wasn't even here when Jax was here. I want. I, I, I we did this whole show. Like we did this whole show without anybody cracking up. No cackling, no laughing, no cracking up. This last one? We're gonna get complaints. That's right. I think we should do a show with uh, Jackson Matt Booth. Jackson Matt Booth. <laughs> Why was Cookie Monster Russian? He was wasn't. He really? Yeah. Oh, she is for Cookie. That good enough for me. <laughs> He's Russian. He's just a moron. He wasn't Russian. <laughs> yes, he is. I think Scott's just a moron. <laughs> well, no, this is Bert and Ernie right here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm Ernie. The Peels Brothers. <laughs> We should have done that the last show. <laughs> the orange no. peel brothers. Keep the volume down. No. You're overloading. We're not taping. No, you want to I'm so sure. Don't be so sure. Don't so sure. Oh. Okay. All right, stand by in five, four, three, two.